Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're gonna do a shop my stash and a bit of a cleanup for my everyday makeup basket for September. Wow, it's September. <laughs> Just a quick heads up, um, I'm traveling a lot in September and October, so I'm gonna do my best to pre-film and get everything set up, but if there's differences in like the time of day I normally post or in how quickly I respond to comments, it's because I'll be traveling a lot. So this is my everyday makeup basket. I have it on this other side of my vanity section now. And I did a little bit of rearranging and I'm actually pretty happy with how everything is set up right now over here. So this bottom shelf just has like my q-tips, my color switch, my makeup wipes. This has uh, like miscellaneous powder products, like any new eyeshadow palettes, any uh, like specialized like individual products I want to use go in here. These are all powder products. This is foundation and concealers. These are primers, and then these are the rest of my eye products. So I thought it would be good to start with kind of pulling out everything that I don't want to use anymore, and then moving over to the collection side of my vanity and picking out the new products. So let's start down here. So I love these Stila Glitter and Glows. These are all from the White Lies collection, and I got them all on sale for like $9 each. I've been using them almost non-stop, <laughs> so I kind of want to rotate them out of my everyday basket and start bringing in some other things because, I mean, I love them, but I, I want to kind of start using some other stuff. And that other stuff includes these new products from CoverGirl. I gotta look up the exact name. They're, I think they're just called the Exhibitionist Liquid Shadows, but these are dupes for the Stila Glitter and Glows, and I've been testing them, and I, I actually really like them so far. So I want to keep them in this basket or in this area until I do a video, because I do want to do a comparison video between these and the Stila's. These two palettes, I'm going to move out. Uh, they, I did get them recently, and I tested them a few times. I do like them, but I do have some other new palettes I need to move into here. Why do you have to honk so early in the morning, good sir? So while I do like these and they are still new, I need to move them out and just like rotate my collection. So because I can get into a rut where I've got like the same palettes in here over and over. So those are going to go back into my collection. And these are the two I'm going to keep. I'll bring in some other palettes, but these are the two I wanted to focus on because after, I think it was my B-Wow last week. I'm pre-filming, so I don't know exactly what day it was. But I got some great feedback. I asked if you guys wanted to see a comparison between the Kylie Peach Palette and the new ColourPop Peach Palette. And a lot of you guys are actually really excited about that. So I want to keep these two in here. I have actually only used the ColourPop Peach Palette once, so I want to keep using that and I want to make that comparison video. Okay, so this is our cleaned out drawer. We'll be bringing in some more products there. All right, and this is my powder drawer. It's a bit overcrowded. I actually want to keep these two powders in my collection until I finish them. Well, not in my collection, in my everyday basket till I finish them. I just recently hit pan on both of them. You see the Milani one and the AOA one. I actually really like this powder. Um, I am going to be doing a follow-up video to my last Shop Miss A haul, and I want to talk about this powder there, but I actually like it and just hit pan on it. So, I'm going to try to keep these in here until I finish them up. My recent go-to powder has been this Maybelline one, but what I want to do is I want to switch it out and just use the Shop Miss A one, because I've been defaulting to the Maybelline and I have not been using this one. So, the Maybelline's going to go back into my collection, and I'm just going to have this one. And the rest of the products I picked, I'm going to just move back into my collection. I have the ABH Glow Kit in Sun Dipped. I'm also moving back the Geek Chic Cosmetics Moon Tiara Stardust Highlighter. I'm moving back the NARS little mini duo I have in Hot Sand and Orgasm. And I'm also going to move this Amuse Cosmetics. I also got this from Shop Miss A. I'm going to move this back into my collection as well. So this is our empty powder drawer. We will pick some new products to move in there. Next we have foundations and concealers. And honestly, I don't think there's going to be a lot of change here since it's still hot and these are like my holy grail matte foundations. The only one I want to move out is one that I know I can use when it's also not hot outside. So this is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir, the Maybelline Matte and Poreless, and the Too Faced 
peach perfect, I can really only use when it's hot outside and I'm sweating. Um, so since I still have a lot of those, I kind of want to focus on those two foundations to use them up before we hit like true fall. So I'm going to move the CoverGirl back into my collection. I'm going to keep the white mixer in because I still have to use the white mixer and this is actually almost gone. So once this is empty, I will be moving in another white mixer. I actually already moved in. I just picked this up a few days ago. Not a few days ago. Uh, a couple, like a week and a half ago. This is the new ABH foundation. I've been testing it out. And I'm actually pretty impressed by it. I am going to be filming at some point in my pre-filming um, a full day wear test with application and a full review on that. So that will be coming soon. I've also kind of got the same thing going on with my concealers. I've got my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind, which is really the only concealer that's sweat proof that I have. So that's going to stay. <laughs> uh, this one is almost empty. And then I've got this one, which is pretty much brand new. I've got the Kylie concealer in here, which I, I can move that out because it's too dark for me to use and it's not, I don't think it's really 100% sweat proof. So I'll move that back into my collection and I'll keep this. This is a salmon color corrector from LA Girl because I did finally finish up my last benefit salmon color corrector. So I think this is just what the drawer is going to look like for now. I've already moved a new product into my primer drawer, so I think I'm just going to leave this one as it is. Um, I have the Cover Effects Mattifying Primer. This one is almost empty. I'm actually about to cut the tube open and start scraping it out, so that'll be gone by the next update. Um, I did pick up from Charlotte Tilbury the Hollywood Flawless Filter. I've heard some feedback that it's best to wear this either on a no makeup makeup day or as a primer. So that's why it's here in the primer drawer. I cannot wait to keep testing that out. And then I have my Shop Miss A AOA Studio Matte Primer, and honestly this, it's too matte, it doesn't actually work. So I might just put that in kind of like the fail pile until I do that Shop Miss A follow-up haul video. Alright, and last but not least, we have a miscellaneous eye drawer. Um, I've already made quite a few changes in here. Mainly, um, I moved out all the mascaras that I had, because um, with my last ColourPop order, I actually picked up their mascara for the first time. So I have two of the mascara. I just got it in brown and in black. I've never tried the formula out before. I just opened up the black one and I've only used it like twice. So I am still testing that out. And I also picked up one of their liquid liners. This is in brown because with the peach palette they actually had a bundle with the mascara and the liquid liner in brown. So I picked up that bundle to test it out because I've also never tried out the liner from ColourPop yet. Everything else in here is a bit boring. Um, I've got my eye primer. I'm finishing up the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara and I've got some other liners in here. I think I'm just going to leave those. We might pick some more out when we go back to my collection but don't think I'm going to be pulling anything out of this drawer. Okay, so now that we've cleaned all that out, I'm going to go ahead and put all of this makeup that we pulled out back into my collection. And then we'll move over and we'll pick out some new products, specifically like some eyeshadow palettes to move in and some powder products. Okay, so we're on the other side where my actual makeup collection is. And before we move into the actual drawers, I want to move in some new products that I just picked up. Um, the first of being my other Charlotte Tilbury product. This is the Filmstar Bronze and Glow. And I've honestly, I've used this once since I've gotten it. So I wanna move this into my everyday basket to get a little bit more use out of it. Next, I did pick up two more black lipsticks. So this liquid lipstick on the left is from the Sephora collection. And then I got a bullet lipstick from Marc Jacobs. So this is my first full size Marc Jacobs lipstick. And can I say it's huge? <laughs> I'm just so used to the minis and the samples. I've never had a full-size Marc Jacob lipstick. And... Ooh, look at that. Is that not gorgeous? Oh, I haven't worn it yet. Um, part of me doesn't want to ruin it, but part of me is like really excited to actually have a full-size Marc Jacob lipstick now. So those are going to be moved over to the top of my everyday makeup basket where I have a drawer with all the current black lipsticks. Okay, I already have some setting sprays over there. I've been using the same two. I just have MAC Fix Plus, and then I have the Catrice Dewy Glow. I've just been using those two. Nothing really, you know, different or spectacular about it. The drawer up here has the rest of my setting sprays. I just have another uh, Catrice Dewy Glow. I have a Milani Matte Spray, and then I have Milani Make It Last Spray. This is my primer drawer. I do want to pick one more primer out of here. Uh, since one primer is just about done, I kind of wanted to go in here and pick out um, another one. So I think I haven't 
used this one in a while and this is actually one of my favorite primers this is the elf poreless putty so i'm gonna move this into my everyday basket and i don't think i really need anything else because i've already got the other primers next i really want to go through some of my single shadows i want to pull out like at least one single shadow to use and i think i know which one i want i think i'm gonna pull out this one so this is the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Sailor. It's one of my favorite shades of like all time. And I did hit some pan in it. I also have like a backup of the shade because I love this one so much. So I do want to get some use out of it and finish it up. So we're going to move that into my everyday basket. Um, I've got a bunch of other cute little minis from Geek Chic in here. That's a Cowboy Bebop shade. I've got some Hannibal Lecter shades. I might save those for October. So I think that should be good for now. Because we also have the glitter drawer right here that we still have to go through. Bam. <laughs> There's so much glitter in here. Since I already have an eyeliner in there, I think the only other thing I want to pull out... Um, I want to pull out the glitter liners from Urban Decay. So I've got two of them. These are the two that I have. These are the heavy metal liners. I have just like this light one and then I have this deep silvery gunmetal kind of one. So I'm going to pull those out. Yeah, I need to organize this drawer. Or actually, I've got empty drawers up top. I might split this into two and do just one drawer of eyeliners and then glitter. I didn't realize I needed a whole drawer for glitter, but I think I need a whole drawer for glitter. <laughs> All right, so lipsticks. I have so many lipsticks. I do want to focus on, of course, the black lipsticks. But let me see. Do I? I feel like I'm, I'm in a rut with my lipsticks. I keep picking the same ones over and over, just like kind of the same nudes, uh, which has mainly been this shade from Fenty. Let's see. I want. Let's pull this one out. This is a nice, like, corally kind of pink shade. Let's do that. And it's September. I can start using mauves. Oh, I know exactly what I want to pull out. So let's pull out this mauve shade. This is the shade uh, Uncuffed. But also, let me burn it. So over here, I have all of my other big lipsticks. And I'm going to pull one from here that I know I want to use. And of course, this is the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in Rebel Rose. I feel like we're finally in our fall time. We can finally bring this out again. I love this lipstick. Okay, so down here we have all of my blushes and bronzers and face powders. I've got face powders, so I don't think I need any more of those. I do have that bronze and glow, so I don't think I need a bronzer. I want to pick out another blush, you know. Let's see, what do we got here? You know what, let's bring this one out. This is from Pretty Vulgar, and this is the shade Make Them Blush in shade H... Ow, ow, ow. <laughs> I just squished my finger. But this is shade 18 Hush Blush, and it's like a nice, like, mauve kind of color, so I think that would work well right now. Alright, so now for highlighters. I do have um, an upcoming project pan, or one I just introduced, where I'm going to be panning a highlighter. But I think I want to pull out some face palettes, because I'm going to be... Oh, look, you can see my face right there. Hello. I'm going to be traveling a lot, and I want to pull out some face palettes to retest and get used to them before um, I go on my trips. So... Let's see, which one should I pull? I really want to pull this one out. This is the Tarte, the original Clay Play face palette. This is an awesome collection of, like, good face powders. I love the face powders here. Perfect for bronzing and contouring. And then all the eyeshadows are nice and neutral. I think I want to take this on um, my work trips in September. So I'm going to pull this one out. And do I want to pull one more out? And I think I'll pull this one out. This one's a newer one I just picked up. This is from Profusion, and this is the Highlight and Contour Palette. I don't think I've actually used this one yet. So I'll, I'll pull this one out to test and see if I want to bring this. All right, so for eyeshadow palettes, I already had an idea of what I wanted to pick, so I just went ahead and pulled them real quick. I 
got these two palettes a long time ago and I still haven't used them and I want to use them in an upcoming Spotlight on a Petite palette. These are from the Wet n Wild Rebel Rose collection and these are the two quads right here. I think this is perfect for fall and perfect for everything so I'm going to move those into my basket. And then I mentioned in I think my last month's video that I want to start a series, not a series, but I want to start getting into the habit of pulling out one large eyeshadow palette a month that I keep on the side, like on my vanity, and I keep looking at and I focus on and work to get more use out of my big palettes. So the big palette that I picked out for September is from Profusion and this is the Wanderlust palette. So now that we have everything picked out, I'm going to go and just organize it all into my everyday basket and then I'll show you real quick what the final result is. Okay, so this is what the basket looks like now. Let's not make a mess. I've got my eyeshadow, I've got some lipsticks and some liquid shadows and liners in here. This palette, or this drawer isn't going to stay this way, I just have the two face palettes down here, the Charlotte Tilbury, the blush, and the first face powder and my loose powder here with my little bread thing. Since I didn't have enough room in the other drawer for this powder, it's a bit bulky, I moved it into this one. And not a whole lot of change here, just the new color pop stuff. The black lipsticks are up here. I do have the drawer right here that has all the rest of my black lipsticks that I am testing. And my setting sprays are up here. I've got actually the Fix Plus is in the skull. <laughs> and the Dewy Glow is right up there. So that is my Shop My Stash for September. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below what you're using for September and what your favorite travel makeup is. Because I think when I go and I pack for my longer trip, I'm actually going to like a conference for a week, I'll probably do another travel makeup video. So let me know what you guys like to use when you're traveling. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.